It's time for Friday Follies. Joining me now, the delightful, the hilarious Kennedy, host of Kennedy Saves the World on Fox News podcast. When do you start the saving? That's what I'd like to know. You know, I have to do it every single day, Raymond. Every it's, week, it's every tough. day. It's a big job. I feel like Atlas. <laughs> I cannot shrug. I've got the world on my shoulders. I have to save it. Okay. As you know, we regularly offer tips for air travel on the show. Indeed. Tonight, I want your rules, okay? Mm-hmm. A drunken passenger refused to leave the plane. She caused a delay and a near riot. Watch. Y'all can't even tell me what I did. Does it matter that I'm not going? You're you're keeping up everybody. Please leave so we can go on. Who did I offend? Ray Lohanna by everybody. You should be offended. You should should be ashamed of yourself. Now everybody's going to suffer. Listen, you out your mind. (laughs) <laughs> I love that. I feel like that's her dad flying with her. And he's like, you should be ashamed. You should be ashamed of yourself. And you know, she's heard that just chirping in her ear her entire life. Oh. Everyone's got to be special. Everyone's got to <laughs> cause the delay. Everyone's got to be a booze bag. It's so annoying. <laughs> it's like you don't know where these people are going. You don't know where they're coming from. Kennedy, three cops it took to remove her. Why would you would think the public shame and the cat calls would be enough? You know, the heckling would have driven her. There is no shame. Uh, no, that's what. Just no. go to San Francisco. Walk around New York. There's no shame. <laughs> Absolutely. What not. am I thinking? But here's my rule. What's your rule? If you delay a plane by having law enforcement come on and detain you, you have to pay not only for everyone's drinks. That's what I was saying. So they at least have a chance to get as soused as you. (laughs) You have to pay for everyone's flight. Okay. That's the rule. All right. We'll hold them to it. Mm -hmm. Now, Kennedy, like Kamala or Kamala, we have a new political star who changes their preferred name pronunciation. Who is it? Ron DeSantis. Or is it DeSantis? RonDeSantis.com. Go to RonDeSantis.com. People go uh, to RonDeSantis.com and make a contribution. I'm Ron DeSantis, and I'm running for president. You say DeSantis. I, I say, say tomato. <laughs> you say da da da. Where do we go from here? Um, here's here's why he's doing that. Because when you say DeSantis, people think it's D I S or D A S. So they're going to misspell the URL. He's not going to get the money. Uh, he know he needs so those. So you think that's why he's punching that e. Hard yes, it's e. DeSantis, not e. because he's trying to uh, prove a point or the, change a pronunciation. He just wants people to give, give, give. Now I, I can't blame the guy. That is something I had not thought of. But I think why the I'm here media. For you, Raymond. I know, thank you for again saving my world. Uh, now you got to move over to Jesse Water. See what you can do there. <laughs> I think the media may need a style guide in DeSantis pronunciation. They'll watch. He called himself D. Santis his entire life, and then the last year he called himself Da Santis. It's kind of kind of strange. We'll call him whatever he wants to be called. Which is it? I feel like when I'm saying D. Santis, I feel like I'm making fun of him. Duh. So, no. Maybe he doesn't like the he, duh he in him- it because it sounds like you're saying duh. What's your name? Anyway. See, I, I worry there are too many pronunciations now. I mean, you've got Trump now, who's entered De Sanctimonious and De Sancta. <laughs> De Sanctus, De Sanctus. He also the... called him Rob several times after the, the Twitter rollout. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Rob and Stacey DeSantis. I, I get, well, DeSantis, or DeSantis, did settle it, I think. There's been some confusion over your last name and the pronunciation, and I'm just wondering, to correct the record, what is it? Oh, that's ridiculous, these stupid things. Listen, the way to pronounce my last name, winner. Oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Well, does that work? Come on. <laughs> I think he should. Re- he needs to find one pronunciation and stick to it for everybody. But I think your explanation might be the win, yeah. the actual win. That's, that's what he's doing. Yeah. Kennedy, this may be the most distressing headline of the night. Gen Z is having a sex recession. A Match.com study found 81 percent of young men said sex was less a priority post-pandemic. Some blame social media and porn. But if Gen Z is suffering... The 80 year olds are not. A baby. Yeah. You got a new baby. Yes. How is fatherhood at this moment? This stage in age? Yeah, this stage it, in it, age. It, it, listen, Al Pacino just had a baby, <laughs> I was told yesterday morning, and he's a few years older than me. God bless him. It is so weird that you guys are both, you and Pacino are both having babies right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's. Uh... Mm. <laughs> Kennedy, what can Gen Z learn from these elders? Uh, that if you're you're packing Viagra, 
You'll keep packing babies. Mm -hmm. Well done, gents. Well, but at least, at least... I'm proud of them. But at least they're in the marketplace, which is more than I can say for the porn basement dwellers. I mean... No, that's that's a bummer. And it's, it's really a bummer for young women, because if dudes are like, I don't know, I don't feel like it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about anything. Don't look at me. It's like, really? Like, you know, these two walking cucumbers are <laughs> impregnating women in their 20s willy-nilly and guys in their 20s are like, I don't know, just don't leave me alone. And come on, the pandemic's yeah. over. It's very Man sad. up. Kennedy, that's a beautiful way to end the weekend. And you were in Davenport, Iowa at the Adler Theater tomorrow with Jimmy Fela. I wish I could get a ticket. The Laughs and Liberty Tour. Look there at that. There it is. There it is. So go see them. It's going to be fantastic. I can't wait to see it myself. Kennedy, thank you. Thank Have a great you. weekend. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.